how smooth is it possible for extra fine nibs to get? I love a super smooth running experience and my Goulet stub nibs and my Jinhao mediums all deliver. But for work, grading essays and etc., a medium is just too big of a nib. My Pilot Metropolitan Fine is fairly smooth. Goulet Extra Fine is a bit toothier. Is it possible to get these tiny nibs glassy smooth with my Mylar or Micro Mesh? Um, so yes, is it worth smoothing them out? Um, that's gonna be up to you. That Yes, I would say you can definitely smooth out finer nibs. That is the case. Um, the thing about finer nibs, you know, pens like the Metropolitan, for example. I have a fine nib Metropolitan. It's really quite fine. It's more like an extra fine of most other pen nib sizes. One of the finer pens that I have. Um, I find that it writes great. It's definitely not the same way for everybody. They have a different feeling about it. But if you think about what is actually on the tip of this pen, very, very small amount of tipping material is on these pens because the smaller the tipping material, the smaller the writing is gonna be. You know, it's ground to be just a little bit of contact area with the paper. And because of that, it writes a very thin line. That's essentially the only difference between, you know, a fine nib and a broad nib is the amount of tipping material and how it's ground and shaped. Um, the, everything else about the nib, the design, the feed, everything else is the same. It's really just that tip that makes the difference in how then it writes. So when you're writing with a broad nib, you know, if you're looking at the front of that nib, you're right, you're, you've got a tipping material, it's this giant ball, right? And that ball is touching on the paper. When you're writing with an extra fine nib, that ball might be this big instead of this big. So the amount of surface area that you're going to have that's contacting the paper is significantly less. And especially when you're talking about writing and if you're writing with any pressure, you're going to feel that a lot more. Um, on an extra fine than you would on a broad. It's just the nature of physics is that you have less contact surface area going on with that tipping material on finer nibs than you do with broader nibs. So pretty much universally across the board, you can assume broader nibs are going to feel smoother on the page than finer nibs, all else equal, right? Like obviously if you have a badly tuned broad nib, it could feel scratchier than a finely tuned extra fine nib, but all else equal, it will feel smoother. It's just it's just the amount of contact area that you have there. So there will be like a point where you can only get a really fine nib, but so smooth. It's never gonna feel quite as buttery as something like the Goulet Stub or a broader, you know, the Jinhao mediums are fairly broad. So like something like a broader medium or a broad or a stub, you may never get it to feel quite that smooth. Now, one thing you can do to help with that is to light up on your pressure when you're writing with an extra fine nib. Because I think our tendency, especially if you're kind of newer to fountain pens, or if you're you know, coming from writing with broads and stubs and stuff like that, you can have a heavier hand and it's a lot more forgiving. That's less so with finer nibs and flex nibs and things like that. You need to really lighten up on the pressure. Really, the, the proper way, if you're writing with a fountain pen, the proper way um, to write with a pen is to just only write with the weight of the pen. You know, a properly tuned pen should be able to write just under its own weight like that. You know what I mean? So I wrote one little line there. So just from the weight of its own nib, it should be able to write. You shouldn't have to actually press down on it. So really check yourself. Make sure that you're not pressing down. And uh, the lower the pen angle that you hold to will also help to feel it. Uh, smoother because when you hold it up right, that is uh, less forgiving and it's going to you're going to feel more feedback on the page. So lower your pen angle. Make sure it's you know 45 degrees or maybe slightly below, and then make sure you're writing really lightly. You want just the weight of the pen itself to do the writing. You don't want to be grabbing the pen and pushing it down into the paper. That's going to increase the amount of feedback or drag that you feel on the page, even with a properly tuned nib. But if you're doing all that stuff and it's still, you want to get it to feel smoother. Uh, you can use a Mylar or a Micro Mesh. Um, so Micro Mesh is this, you know, kind of gray material um, that almost feels like leather, but it's a very fine abrasive. Uh, typically, if you're using, uh, you know, a, a properly tuned fountain pen, especially an extra fine or a fine, and you're using Micro Mesh, it's not really gonna make it feel much smoother because the amount of abrasiveness that you're gonna have on this micro mesh is not going to be fine enough to really feel smooth. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna pretty much match the, the, the texture that you're gonna feel with the nib on the page normally anyway, unless it's something that's like, 
you know, has been used for a while, has kind of gotten out of whack or something like that. If you have micro mesh, you can do it. It's not really going to hurt anything, but it's not really going to help either. You just want to take it kind of easy. I mean, you got to really work at it for a while to, to wear out your nib on micro mesh, but just touching it to it a little bit, you know, a few figure eight patterns, a couple of, you know, flicks on the page will be pretty much be all you need, you know, when you're tuning it. So you can just kind of do some light figure eights like this. Again, especially when you're writing with this, you don't want to do a lot of pressure. So I just do some light figure eights. You know, you can kind of hold it like this and maybe just go back and forth with it a little bit, kind of drag it. You want to make sure to kind of swirl it around, you know, a little bit back and forth so you don't wear one flat spot. And you can try that and then bring it back to the page. It's best to do it when the ink is wet too. Um, you know, and that feels that feels pretty good, but it's not really going to make it feel glassy smooth um, any more than it kind of comes from the factory. If you want to get it really smooth, then the mylar is going to be what you want to get. And uh, seeing if I have like a properly cut mylar sheet here, I've got like all the duds and the rejects here, but um, we have mylar in two different grits, and they're both very very fine grits. Um, but there's basically like a one micron and a 0.3 micron. Um, so you can uh, use these. Uh, the green one is the rougher one, and the white one is the finer one. Um, so you can try those, and you can use those. Similar kind of thing. You just very lightly um, just kind of go back and forth with it, or you can just kind of you know, press into it a little bit and kind of flick it away in kind of different directions. You really don't need to go nuts on these things and then you can bring it to the page. You know, it's best to do this if it's smooth enough. If you had the micro mesh, just do it a little bit on that to kind of get it, make sure you're up to speed there. Um, but then you can just kind of gently kind of touch it on there. And then, um, you know, I can, I can notice a little bit of a difference when doing that. And then if I want to go even further, you know, you can go to the different one. Um, but that's, that's the way to go. If you want to get really, really smooth, then you can go with the finest grit of the Mylar, and that will be, uh, that will be even better for you, honestly. Um, but make sure that when you're doing that, you're having a very, very fine touch, and you're not doing it really intensely. Um, and then you're always um, kind of being consistent as you do it. But you're not really going to do a lot of harm with these Mylars, because it's really such a fine, um, such a fine abrasive that you're really not going to do any damage that you can't undo. So I would say, you know, if it's a pen that you're comfortable with, that you're okay doing, you know, making sure you realize that when you're, when you're altering your nibs like that, I kind of need to give a blanket disclaimer whenever I talk about nib alterations or anything or smoothing all that. If you've done that, you're basically voiding your warranty. So I wouldn't pull out your thousand dollar Mont Blanc and give it a go unless you feel really confident about it because um, then they're not going to cover your warranty anymore. If you got a Metropolitan, okay, 15 bucks to replace, you can probably live with that uh, just if you do something terrible to it. But um, yeah, I would say that uh, you could definitely give it a shot and then uh, have some fun with it.